Jamel Dean played on this field as a kid. Just coming back to coming back to our roots. Now he's playing as a pro. Basically working on working on our 45 degree angle breaks. Most DB should most DB need to learn how to break down here. It's the W drill here today, but a decade ago it was touchdowns playing for the Rock Ledge Little League. And bring back memories when we had the Super Bowl here and we won our first Super Bowl actually on this field. Now he's about to begin his next Super Bowl quest. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Jamil Dean, DB, Auburn University. Jamel was drafted in the third round by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. At his family watch party in Coco, the crowd went crazy. I was like, wow, this is really happening. It was a dream come true. A dream that for a while looked like it might never happen. In high school, Jamel was a star receiver for Coco, but his career was limited by knee injuries. Well, 2013, I tore my right ACL. So I, I, tore, I tore that towards the end of, end of my junior year. And then I came back next year made it through a whole, the whole season safe, and then on my very last high school football game, I tore my, I tore my meniscus. Despite the injuries, he enrolled early at Ohio State, but their doctors wouldn't clear him, so he transferred to Auburn, and after a year sitting out, adversity struck again. Two weeks before his first college game, he tore his other ACL. I was ready to say, I was ready to give up on football after that one. I'm just really sad. I sat in my room saying, like, is football really for me? But Jamel didn't quit. He fought through the rehab process again to become a starting corner on the 2017 Auburn team that knocked off number one Georgia and number one Alabama. So I was enjoying every moment just playing. And so happened that we had a season like that. It made, that just made it a bonus. After a strong junior season, Jamel's name started moving up draft boards. Jamel Dean is there. It's the interception. Then the 40 happened. Mel Dean of Auburn. Wow. Woo. Jamel ran a 4-3 at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. That speed caught the attention of Bucks general manager Jason Light. He plays a physical game. He's a, a really good press guy. He's a really good tackler, and he's a really sharp kid, too, as well. Who we ever knew? After everything he's been through, now he wants to give back. That was a good rep. You can't coach a good rep. <laughs> he wants to inspire the next Coco generation to go for their dreams. It just shows how much talent Bavard really got, and they put in, putting on the map for us. Battle tested and scarred, this former Coco and Auburn Tiger is back playing professional football in his home state. Now I get to play in the play for a football team that's close to home. More people can come to my games. And then if I ever get something, maybe if I ever get home, so I can come back and visit. Heck yeah. And give back to the community. Find all my hard work I did finally, finally paying off.